We are back. Welcome back, everybody, to Manchester, New Hampshire. Manchester, New Hampshire, Yankee Lanes uh, for the Yankee Lanes Senior Open. We are down to the final eight bowlers out of, what do we say, 45? Yeah. 45 entries? 45, yep. Um, the cut was plus 51. Uh, we had, so we had a round of uh, the, the 5 through 12 seeds bowled round one, and we have four winners, and now the four guys that were the top four qualifiers jumped in. They got a buy. So we have uh, the final eight. Uh, this is Brian Gaskell with you, and my normal broadcast partner is one of the eight guys still bowling. So we have a uh, couple of fill-ins extraordinaire. Owner Jeff Barden of Yankee Lanes and Ditto Fitzpatrick. Say hello, boys. What's up, guys? Thanks, guys. Uh, pleasure to be here, Jeff. Thanks for having us. This is, uh, other than the fact that I bowled awful, it was fun. Um, but operator error. Let's, uh, I assure you, operator error. Let's recap the last round. I have the. Uh, Ditto's going to go over the women's matches first. I have the women's matches right yep, here. Go ahead. So uh, it was Tina LaCroix, Tina LaCroix. Ag yep. against Madeline Yokel. Mm -hmm. She's a local from Raymond. Um, she actually lost against Tina, 203 to 142. And then Octavia Hall and Cheryl Pape. Cheryl won that match, 191 to 178. They go on to the next round. Tina will be facing Mallory Clark on 5 and 6. And Amanda Broge on 3 and 4 is against Cheryl Pape. Which I want to say what they did last time was because, like I said, the, the they're too spread apart for us to cover both uh, with one camera. But I'm, I, I know Becky went live with her phone last time and did that when they got to the final match. I'm going to find out in between rounds if they're going to do that again uh, for those that are interested in the women's match. Uh, but right now we are watching the finals of the Senior Open, which is being held at the same time on the same pattern. Um, on 17, 18, right in front of you, we have Don Harrington, who was the number three seed against Bill Green. Uh, on 19 and 20, Tony Renard, who was the number four seed against Chris Monroy. 21 and 22, Bruce Hall, who was the tournament leader by substantial margin, I think. 232 over for Bruce. Um, and he is bowling against... Uh, Tony. Steve Gagnon. I couldn't think of his first name. Steve Gagnon. And then oh. all the way up on 23 and 24, we have... Rich Brooks, who was the number two seed against John Kirker. So uh, we're just starting out uh, in the second frame here. So let me, I'm going to go over the, uh, the upcoming tournaments. I, I, I didn't do that last round because I hadn't written them down yet. So let me. Uh Next month is in. Yeah, well, first of all, we have another tournament this weekend. First of yes. all, let's, let's, let's be clear. Uh, this is a you know, Saturday event only. Um, so the Yankee Lanes Manchester Singles Open will be held, uh, well first of all, tonight at 6 p.m., this qualifying squad tonight at the conclusion of, the, uh, of these tournaments here. They're going to re-oil the new pattern for, t for the uh, singles open. Squads 6 p.m., 9 a.m., and 12.30. As far as I know, there are openings on all squads. You can walk in. Um, next month is the traditional, well it used to be after Thanksgiving, they, I think they pushed it up this year to try and uh, maybe get a few more entries because a lot of people like to travel Thanksgiving week, so the traditional uh, non-champs, tournament of champs weekend, so on Saturday November 12th, the DJ's Pro Shop non-champs event, anybody that has never won a NEBA of any kind uh, is eligible to bowl and on Sunday November 13th is the Storm Road to Grip Tournament of Champions Here's Bill Green on two spares, and he trips a four. And then the weekend. Those are both. Hold on. Those are both being held in Auburn, Auburn Lanes, uh, Auburn Bolero. Um, and then in December is a no, there's another singles event in uh, December on Saturday in Norwich. Uh, the senior uh, better bowling concept singles, se uh, single seniors. And then on Sunday is the regular full field NEBA ideal bowling concepts. Uh, and those are both being held in Norwich, Connecticut. That that Sunday is also the final for the Paul Four Memorial. Right. So okay, good. Thank you for reminding me. So so we had a cut 
of the original field of 64 was cut down to 47? 40, yeah, well, it was 48. It was supposed to be 48, but 47 showed up. So uh, those 47 bowlers that made it past the last round will all be bowling tomorrow if they choose. At 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. squad tomorrow. And uh, the top 32? Yes. And then it goes down to top 24, but the top 20 get paid. Okay. I, I have the sheet here somewhere. I'll, I'll, I'll go over that more in more detail. But I, at least at least the people that are that are bowling for me, I'm sure know know how it works. I yes. I don't because I, I had to look at it last night. Well, I, I wasn't good enough to make the cut, so I just. You know. I wanted to look um, that over. Um, we do have an extra tournament here, uh, Thanksgiving week, um, Thanksgiving Day. Uh, Christopher and Amy Vialli are going to pre present a. Tat type tournament. It's called the Megabuts Tournament. It's being hosted in Chickpea Lanes. Uh, it's going to be a four-day event from November 24th to November 27th. The entry fee for each tournament is 95 bucks. The main event of it is going to be paying $10,000 first place. Um, I'm pretty sure Neba has been advertising that overall. Yeah. Um, I would recommend everyone coming oh. up to a New England. I, I, I think the sweepers are more than 95. You better check that. I think the 95 is for the main event only. I think the sweepers are more. Okay. All right. Yep. We'll look that up. I will look that up. I, I'm pretty sure the sweepers are more. But I do know that they have grabbed two sponsors. Savage Germs yep. is sponsoring the main overall event. Shout out to Dave Savage. He does a lot for bowling. He does sponsor a few events for Neba. Um. And the second event is a rock station out of Springfield, actually. I know that's for the sweeper event. They're guaranteeing 1500 for first, I believe. Well, and since this is a senior event, the uh, the rock station used to be uh, Wacky 102. Oh, for, in Springfield? For those of you at okay. home. Okay. So let's uh, grab some scores right now. On 17 and 18, we got Bruce Hall against All I Don. know is my pick has them all. That's all I know. 17 and 18, we got Don Harrington against Mr. Bill Green. Um, it, hey now. it looks like Bill is up in this match, actually, if he strikes right here, by 30. Let's let's tune in here and see if he gets a strike. He's been bowling a lot better lately. Yeah, great yep. speed. So, yeah, Bill Green's on a spare triple, and Don is not... Uh, four spares, so he's lost a little bit of count, and with the triple, so Bill Green's up. Uh, let's call it uh, 24 right now. We got Tony Ronald against Tony, Chris Monroy. Tony just spared right here in the fourth frame. He is on 59 in the third on a nine spare. Chris Monroy is on a 28 open in the second with a nine spare in the third. Uh, your dark horse right here on 21 and 22, Bruce Hall, has all of them in the fifth frame against Steve Gagnon, who is down about 50 pins if he strikes, if Bruce Hall strikes in the next frame. And then on 22 and 23, we got John Kirker against Rich Brooks. Richie Brooks. And from what I can see, that is a four pin match right now. Yeah, I knew it was close. Chris Monroy. Right here in the just struck in the fourth frame. So let me talk about the pattern real quick. We, I know we mentioned it the last round, but let's update some people that might not have watched the first round. Uh, we are bowling on a, a five to one, 37 foot pattern that was taken from a PWBA regional in Arlington, Texas. 23.89 mils. Uh, there was no reoil for the finals, so. The, you know they, they, they've you know you got like seven eight games bowled on these now they're starting to get a little a little crispy so you see guys migrating left um, you know early in the day during the qualifying you could definitely play you know um, pretty, pretty much anywhere um, you know any anybody right at, right at 12 you, you know some guys were tr choosing to curve it out to the spot other guys would go up, you know, up the lane. You see Chris right there with a purple hammer swinging it to the gutter. And oh, oh my God, Stone Eight. Um, so that was uh, that was to tie the match. He's Chris is going to be down 
11 pins uh, through five frames. Don Harrington finally struck on lane 18. He's up on 17 now going for a double, and he's going to need it because Bill Green has a spare four-bagger up early. He's got it. Got it. All right, so keeps that match in the balance for now. We'll keep an eye on that for you. And Bruce Hall has the front six against Steve Gagnon. I do want to mention again, uh, thank you to Jeff Barton and Yankee Lanes for uh, adding $1,500 both to this event and the women's event today and $2,000 to tomorrow's event. Um, here's Bill Green. Oh, he scrambled the rack for a seven. Uh, again, there are spots available for all three squads. You can come out uh, tonight at 6, tomorrow at 9, or 12.30. Nick Perron. Ditto. Can you look up the pattern for tomorrow for the uh, the regular tournament? I, d I still didn't write it down. Just yes. tell people in case they want to come bowl. I'll give you a shout out. I know it's a short pattern. I it's like the 2007 Ancara Open. Or I do not want to go to Nebel, but <laughs> come I accidentally on. clicked on that. Nebel, Neba. Give me one second to have it pulled up. Right in one second. So. Tomorrow's event is on, actually, forgive me, it was 37 feet, 23.4 mils. It is 2007 EBT Ankara Open. If I pronounce it right, pronounce it, right, it is an EBT Open pattern. It's a European, European bowler store. So I can predict a lot of urethane will be going down the lane tomorrow. Well, that gives me half a chance anyway. The, At the least. Old, the old track 10. Yeah, well, it didn't work today. But I, I told the toy that was operator error today. I I bowled miserably. You know what did work today? Those buffalo wings in game yeah, three. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ditto's so. being a wise guy because, like I said earlier, he's the only of the three of us that that <coughs> didn't miss the cut today. So, because he's not, he's about 25 years shy of being able to bowl this tournament. So, um, Bill Green left the. I mean, Jeff, what did you think of the, the way the, the lanes played? I, I, Met you know, expectations. Like you said earlier, I thought they were very fair. Um, you know, guys like the, me that need to fluff it a little bit could play the middle of the lane. And then, you know, guys that could horse it up off the gutter, then yeah. they were doing pretty well with the urethane, it seemed. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, you, know, I, 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 you know, you were right next to me. You saw I, I felt like I was on the verge of it all day long and just every time I needed a hit, it was a four pin or a week ten, and there's nothing in between. It's like I just felt like every single time, you know. And I'll beat myself up. I'll, you know. I mean, I shot plus five or something like that. I wasn't like miserably out of the cut or anything like that. But like every single time, I got a double, and I needed one more to just yeah. get going. It was either a four pin or a week ten. Nothing in between. It's like right all day long. It just. But it is what it is. We uh, we move on. Tomorrow's another day. And we'll give it another shot. Absolutely. Okay, so Don Harrington here to, to make this match as flush. That uh, gets him within 11. Down from, you know, that was a 30-pin match at one time. That's down to 11. That's a, that was a big ball. Bruce uh, had the front seven. He just left the week seven, but he's well in command of that match. That match is already oh, over. That's, over. that's yeah. over in the seventh frame. Monroy just made the 10-pin. He is down by 20. Jeff's trying to get the scores uh, on 23 and 24 in the Kirk of Brooks match. Looks like 129 in the seventh for Rich. Is that 106? No, it can't be. Ditto, go check that match on 23 and 4, please. I asked them to put the women on 15 and 16. No, can't do that. The, no, that's the, the, the title match is on 15 and 16. That pair's supposed to stay fresh. 13, 14? I don't know. Not up to us. Let them, let them figure it out. Uh, you know, uh, as a, a little break here, gas, it's really great to see Tony out here. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Um, I, I know he's been bowling a select few events, but um, it's really, really great to see him out here. You know, what he and his wife. Was it whatnot, was it a uh, knee or a hip with him? I forget. I know he was out for a while. Uh, it was some type of yeah, leg injury. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, you know, and a couple other health issues. So uh, really good to see him back out here. And, you know, it's something to be said for just being smooth, oh. you know. Uh, that's what I miss about seeing. Uh, you know what else the sound we said? The sound we said for like hitting what you're looking at every time. Yeah. Which that's what he does. Yep. Like you never see him miss by three. Like it's just <laughs> every shot's online. Exactly. That's why I kind of miss seeing uh, Todd Lathrop around. You know, Todd was always. Yeah, was he? I, you know what? Until you just said it, I didn't even realize. He, I, I, you know, I haven't seen Todd that much. You know, I usually see him in Keene. Um, but knowing him, he's probably working. Great shot from Tony. All right, so. Um, oh, Harrington opened on, the, yeah. on 17. I missed that. We were looking, we were trying to fin figure out the score on, on 23 and 24. I missed it. So the, the Don opened, and now. Uh, that's wide. That's coming Ooh. back, though. He scrambled the rack. That about wraps that one up. So, uh, not yet. Yeah. Um, does it. Dawn can still go off for 219. 19. I mean, pr close. It would have to be a bad count. Bad yeah. count open, it would have to be. So, uh, Dawn's going to need them all, and then a lot of help. And. Uh, that's going to do it. Can we get? Can we see that Kirker score down there yet? Ditto said to me it's a seven-pin match, but he didn't tell me which way. It looks like maybe Kirker is down by seven. Is that 156 to 149? 156 in the eighth. Yeah. To 149. Okay. In the so eighth. Kirker trailing by seven. Yeah. Going to the ninth frame. All right, got it. Now we can keep track of what's going on. That looks like a. Is that a carry, or carry the seven. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's actually his 10th frame. So now he, he'll need a strike here to take the lead and force um, his opponent to double. To double. Yeah. So John, right? can, John can go off for 06. Mm -hmm. And Richie Brooks can go out for 09. Got it. Of course, Bruce is rocking and rolling That's the here. only match that's in the balance, guys. So... Uh, Forgive us for concentrating on a match that you guys really can't see. I mean, you might be able to see the ball going down the lane to your right of, uh, to the right of the screen. Um, here goes Kirker now. And he tripped the four pin. Tripped the four. So he's in the two O's. So Rich, um, Brooke. Yeah, Kirker's going to be two O. Yeah, Richie's going to have to throw the first two gonna here. going to have to throw a double. Okay. Of course, nobody's touching Mr. Hall. Yeah, Bruce, uh, after lapping the field and qualifying and getting a bye, he's got 260 in the first round. So um, he is in cruise control at the moment. And there's, you know, again, no lefties out here. So pair to pair shouldn't be a problem for him. Absolutely. So Kirker goes off for 06. Like we said, Rich is going to have to have a double here. Okay, here we go. Again, you, you be, might be able to just see the ball to the right of the screen. Brooks needs a double. Uh, all the other matches are locked up. Tony Renaud is a winner. Bruce is a winner. Bill Green is a winner. Um, and Brooks just left a 7-10. Pocket 7-10. Yeah, so Kirker, Kirker moves on. So Kirker advances. So we got Kirker... Bruce, Tony, and Bill Green. That's a pretty good final four. Absolutely. No freebies out here right now. Um, all multiple time champions. Absolutely. In fact, I'm going to have to do my homework in between rounds and go on bullneva.com and find out exactly how many all four of them have because I, I'm, I know they're all multiples. It, it's a few. So no freebies out here today, folks. 
Uh, Ditto's gone to update the women's matches. Um, all right, we're going to stay on. I'm going to stay on until he comes back so you can find out. Give me a second, Josh. He's, like I said, they're, they're 15 lanes away from where we are. I can't. I have no idea what's going on down there. You know what? While we, while we got a second and we're waiting for the result of the women's matches, I'm going to run down uh, sponsors for the entire season real quick because I didn't get a chance to do it. Um, the printed sheet isn't, wasn't in my little bundle here, so I'm going to go to the phone and, and thank... Uh, Cambridge Credit Counseling, Many Styles of Bowling, uh, East Coast Sports Investors, Strike FX Pro Shop, Bull Winkles Pro Shop, Buddies, uh, BuddiesProShop.com, I Am Bowling, powered by Logo Infusion, Ace Mitchell Bowling Supply, Green Mountain Open, Dexter Bowling Shoes, Savage Arms, Turbo Grips, Grog Monster Sports, Callahan's Bowlerama, Yankee Lanes and Keen, thanks Jeff, Chicago Sam's, BowlingSeriously.com, uh, Tony Renaud, who you just saw in front of us, Tony and Suzanne Renaud, Bloomfield Electric, Tech Vision, that's Bruce's company that you're listening to right now, Chaos Strike Force, also Yankee Lanes of Manchester, DJ's Pro Shop, Storm Roto Grip and Global 900, which donate two balls for each tournament, um, Better Bowling Concepts, and Ideal Bowling Concepts. So, that being said, what do you got, Ditto? What happened? Oh, I forgot. Okay, there you go, you're on. Okay, so down over there, they actually they really had close matches. Um, Mallory hmm? won her match, 245 against Tina, 235. Wow. And then Amanda won her match, 215 to 210 wow. against Cheryl. No wonder why you had to wait down there so long because they went yeah. down to the last ball. And I got it. The scoring was a little bit off on one of them, so it was very close. It was the Cheryl and Amanda match. I'm uh they they are going on 13 and 14 I believe. They are going on 13 oh, and 14. Oh, excellent. Yeah, All right, I, I'm moved, I'm I moved them down here so we could have a little bit of better view. You know, the young eyes can see. Bruce won his match? Yeah. So it's yeah, it's Bruce um Tony. Tony, Bill Green, Kirker, and Kirker. My two horses are in it. All right. We're going to uh we're going to log off. We'll be back in a few minutes, folks. Thanks for tuning in.